New Orleans' stay-at-home mandate is in effect until mid-May, and during that time, evictions are illegal in the city. Megan Keyes spoke with Housing NOLA about the challenges renters are facing and help that's available for them. She's live in the French Quarter with more on that, and we know we were already in a housing crisis before this started, Megan. Yes, yeah, Sheba, it was already a housing crisis before this, and now we're having to deal with this as well. And we know that in the middle of this pandemic, as thousands of New Orleanians stay home, their landlords are not allowed to evict them. But housing advocate, Housing NOLA, tells me that people are still trying to do it anyway. The first and second city courts that would normally hear evictions are closed during this time. The mayor has said protecting tenants' rights during this pandemic isn't just the legal thing to do, but the right thing to do. Any Anyone whose landlord is trying to evict them right now should call the city's 311 line and report it. Legal aid partners like Southeast Legal Services and Louisiana Fair Housing Action Center have also been stepping up to represent tenants in this situation, but are overwhelmed by the need. Housing NOLA Executive Director speaks on the challenges renters face right now. This has been a concern from the moment the stay-at-home orders were announced. Renters are incredibly vulnerable in New Orleans. They were already cost burdened, not able to pay what they could afford, live in check to check. And Louisiana has some of the worst rental rights in the country. So we, we knew that this was going to be a challenge uh, for folks. The court stepped up and uh, closed and refused to hear evictions. The mayor and the governor have, uh, to, the, to the extent that they are allowed, to stop and forestall evictions. But what it requires is that the tenants have to stand their ground. Well, Housing NOLA wants to find a more permanent solution to help, and they're advocating for more financial assistance for renters here in New Orleans, and they're trying to see if they can get some of that money from the city, the state, and the federal government. I'll have more information on that in the next hour, so stay with Eyewitness News. Reporting live in the French Quarter, Megan Key, Eyewitness News. Yeah, really tough issues out there. Thank you so much, Megan.